guys, so I'm gonna do my first video review of a book. And this might not go very well. I'm probably gonna stumble a lot. And I'll probably be looking down quite a lot because I'll be reading my notes. So, yeah, I just washed my hair and my PJs and everything. Not the best kind of view of me. But anyway, I'm gonna start um, the video review of Dangerous Water by Gregory Mon. Mon I think, yeah, Mon. I received this book from Raincoast Books uh, as for review, um, so thank you. I got this like, last week and it took me two, two, two days to read, a day and a half. And I was super excited to get this book because it's a the middle gray juvenile fiction kind of thing and it's about Titanic and I just love any book that's about Titanic. Anyway, so the book... I guess wasn't as good as I thought. It was good, and probably if I was a um, few years younger, I probably would enjoy this. It didn't have that much action, I guess. Like I thought there was a lot of gonna be a lot of mind games and everything, since there is a chase going on and there is a secret to discover. But none of that happened. It was just kind of a retelling of basically. The Titanic, which wasn't very interesting, and it kind of reminded me when the Titanic hit the iceberg in this book, everything else followed. Se seems like you know the movie, the Leonardo DiCaprio mo movie. It was kind of just boring. I mean, even the mo that movie had more action in it because I mean Rose had to go get Jack and everything. This book just like they stood there, they ran around, and that 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 wasn't very interesting. I um, the characters were nice though. Um, the main character, Patrick, was a 12 year old boy, which is kind of cute. He kind of reminds me of Tintin on there. See there. Kind of reminds me of Tintin there. And his big brother, James, just seems like a perfect kind of guy. He's so, he's like strong, he's loyal. He didn't want to leave the Titanic because he was just shoveling coal and trying to. Power on um, Titanic, and I'm like almost crying here because it's just so emotional. I, I mean, when I think the first half of the book was so so, it was just introducing the characters, and I wasn't really enjoying that much. It was just like there. It kind of felt like I read half of the book, I was like, what is gonna happen in the f other half since the first half seemed like just getting started? Like, is she, is the, is Gregory gonna end the whole story within that? half of the book and just leave I seem like this the book seem to be seems a lot more chapters and a lot more thicker than that two hundred pages or so. Um so I thought the first half was okay. We're just really introducing the characters. So now let's see. Um the first two chapters was a little confusing because there was like five to ten names that I remember and I'm not good with names. So I was like thinking, wait, who's that again? And who and what would the relationship be? Okay. And, but thank goodness that uh, most of the characters that are introduced in the beginning wasn't really mentioned ever again. So that was nice. So I wasn't confused. Uh, when they, when... The setting changed to the Titanic. I loved it because the Titanic was described beautifully and I could just totally picture it. I mean, I had, let's see, oh, I had a sample of Miss Dior as my bookmark. And so my book smelled like this. And I totally imagined the whole Titanic to smell like this. It was like perfect. I was like, oh, see, the Titanic was, had smelled like that. So when I finished. I think 75% of the book, the Titanic hit the iceberg, and I think that was more of the suspense and kind of came, um, and came from. I was, um, it was okay. I panicked because everybody else wasn't panicking, and the dramatic irony of it just kind of gets me kind of nervous. And let's see. I'm reading my notes again. This is horrible. And I, in the last few chapters of the book where this Titanic is sinking, I swear to God, I almost 
seriously cried. I was hoping for happier endings. I, I wish that this novel won't have the Titanic sinking and everybody will live happily ever after. But of course that's not gonna be have that's not gonna be true. So I was so sad. I mean, I know this is gonna happen, but I just wish I just wish that Titanic Titanic, the real Titanic never sunk or anything happened to it because it's just so sad. One kind of final note is that I wish Gregory focused on the poor passenger more because th he didn't even mention them. He just basically mentioned the freaking rich and blah, 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 blah and stuff. I hope that he actually, I wish that he had another book based on those workers there uh, down at the trimmer and, and the boiling room. That would be fantastic. I would totally read that. But Overall, this book was so-so. I mean, it didn't have the suspense that I was hoping for, the chase, the mystery. I kind of, I was kind of wishing something like The 39 Clues, those juvenile kind of books, where you just go dive in with them. You dive in with the character, you on the chase, you're running away from the bad guys, and it's really breathtaking. This book didn't really give me that, so the maximum I'm going to go for is 4 out of 5. So I might even change it to a 3 out of 5, so yeah. So this book, if you guys have any kids, I guess, or love reading juvenile books, I mean, you can give this a try, you might like it more than I do, but this one was a so-so book, so 4 to 3, 3 to 4, I guess, out of 5. And yeah, that was my first ever video review, I wonder how I did, I'm pretty sure I didn't do that well but anyway so I hope you guys enjoyed it see you later guys bye